We would much rather see states move as quickly as possible and use every possible avenue to meet demand as places like Florida are trying to do than to leave vaccines sitting in freezers. It would be much better to move quickly and end up vaccinating some lower priority people than to let vaccines sit around while states try to micromanage this process. Faster administration could save lives right now, which means we cannot let the perfect be the enemy of the good. And I have encouraged our governors, and I will continue to do so, uh, that if, if they are using all of the vaccine that is, order, that is allocated, ordered, distributed, shipped, and they're getting it into healthcare providers' arms, every bit of it, that's great. But if for some reason their distribution is struggling and they're having vaccines sit in freezers, then by all means, you ought to be opening up to people 70 and over, or 65 and over. Uh, you ought to be making sure that the nursing home patients uh, are getting vaccinated. Um, but it's important to remember, we got 20 million doses available in December 2020, but there's always going to be a lag between available doses, then the ordering by the providers, then the shipping, then the actual administration of the vaccine, and then importantly, the reporting of those vaccinations.